Hello everyone, my name is Shankar Reddy. I'm here to explain one of the features that we have under resource kit that is Data Mart. So I would like to explain that how we can work with the Data Mart. So in terms of that, how we can configure the tables and execution and um, populating the data to the tables and config after populating the data, how we can configure those reports uh, which includes the sample reports that we can configure in IDD. I'm in the folder called Data Mart, so uh, that is available under Resource Kit. So let me do what are the files that are available available under the uh, Data Mart. If you look at here, you can see that chart config, config, and uh, there's a guidelines at how to set up and run Data Mart Population Utility Doc, as well as lib library files which are required to run the jar file that is uh, populate underscore data mart dot jar. So here, if you go to that config uh, file, there's a chart config. So here, this is the report script. Report script, what it will do is, it, it is going to be insert data to report config table. Whatever the data fields that, uh, report types that we have, it is, it is going to be inside the corresponding data to the report the config table. This is the first step that we need to do when we go for a data mart. So we need to run this script uh, to insert all the data. Once that is done, what we have to do is check that is there any files under config. See that? We have two config files are there. Mart population config.xml, report class mapping properties. Initially, when you install a resource script, what will happen is, initially you could able to see only report class mapping properties. So let me see that what is there under report properties. So here, whatever the subject, I, uh, I mean, whatever the uh, report that we have right now is going to be available under that class. For example, if you can see here, subject area growth trend, the corresponding Java class is there. So like that, all the, uh, the type of the report that are available are listed under report class mapping properties. So next is how we can configure the report parameters. So what we have to do is, uh, if you look at the files, this is the jar file. We need to run this jar file in order to configure uh, the parameters. So let me run the jar file. If you run this configuration, what will happen is, it is going to be generate the file called mart-population-config.xml. This is the file that it is going to be generated. Uh, based on the parameters that we are giving. So suppose say if I'm giving C, uh, that means that I'm trying to create a connection first. Then after that only you can go for reporting parameters. So I'm trying to create a connection. Let me take MDM demo right now. So coming to the DB, uh, what happens is when it is asking connection DB, make it as a default, just DB only enter it. And uh, my database is Oracle, so I'm selecting Oracle over here. And DB user. So I have to select the whatever the DB user. I mean to say that uh, ORS user. This is the one. Enter the password for the particular ORS user. Right now, what I'm trying to do is uh, the token, I don't want to give it because uh, this is for future purpose. So we can give it as empty. And ho uh, host name is, I'm running the database locally, so I'm giving localhost. The port number 1521. Database, Oracle state ID. Just save it. Now, let us see that the configuration file, which is time. So if you look at the configurations, this is the configuration that has created right now, MDM underscore demo. So what happens is while running that utility file, it is going to be generate a uh, XML elements to you. 
So based on the textile element, it can cause the gap. Suppose say if you want to uh, give one more connection, what you can do is instead of running the tool directly, you can come here and add one more uh, connection manually. Say, suppose say if I select a report parameters, what will happen is it is going to be asked the report parameter for me. So for that, the name of the report, this is the sub, this is the name of the report. So this name, I had to get it from the mapping config file, mapping the config classes file. So from there, I had to get the name from there. And the report config ID here is the report config ID. If I had to select the corresponding ID from the database for this report. This is available under C underscore report, report, reports underscore config file. From there, you have to get it one and you can run it. And the connection name, whatever the connection name you are using here, you have to, uh, uh, aim to say that whatever the connection you are using here, you have to use here. So that's it. So now we are set with uh, running configuration, running, uh, uh, I mean, the configuration we, we have completed. Now, how we can execute the data in order to populate uh, C underscore report underscore detail table. Now let us see that. I would like to clear the log before I am doing. So whatever the logs that are coming here, so yeah, I'm, I moved that. I took the backup of the whole file. Now. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to execute the report. When you see that only execution, that means that it is going to be take all the parameters. Suppose say if you are not giving any other parameter after execution, what will happen is it is going to be considered all parameters, whatever you configure in this file. There's a mark population config file. Suppose say if you would like to generate only for the particular table, then what you have to do is you have to give the report name. So that means it is going to be generate only for that report. So now it doesn't mean that right now it won't populate any report in IDD. What it will do is it will populate some of the data which are required uh, when it is populating from the IDD application. So uh, right now I am trying to run for everything. There is a current configuration uh, ID not found. So there is some error. Demo just uh, I would like to run that only one uh, report, so it is going to be run the report right now. So to see that what is exactly happening, what I can do is I can go to the log file and uh, you see that earlier itself it could be able to run all the records except uh, only for this report it was uh, failing. So the connection that we have given is wrong for a one of the report. So that is the reason it is a throwing error for us. So it could be able to generate the report and all the logs. I mean to say that all the logs it is going to be uh, kept here while it is running data mark. So this is all about uh, uh, conferring at a command prompt uh, in order to populate config table as well as details tables. So now let us move to the next step. Now it's time to copy uh, the uh, Jasper reports that we have from the uh, examples. This is the 
this is available under PTD folder. You see that there is a, a folder called Jasper reports. So all these files based on the subject area, I mean to say based on the report ID that we are selecting from there. So we need to take the respect to Jasper report. If you want, take a copy of everything to the folder that I will show you. We need to take a copy of all this folder to uh, hub server. When you install MDM, what happens is you won't see that reports folder. So what you have to do is this time for the, for the sake of uh, data mart, you need to create that folder. So you already created that folder. So let me go there. You see that all the Jasper reports that I do have, I copied to over here. Now it's time to, so once you copied, that means that you all set. So time to uh, configure IDD application take a BDD XML from there and update, add that to your report parameters. That is the last step. So let me open that also. I'm trying to enter into the IDD application to see that I do have at least one IDD application that is there. So I do have three applications. I can take any of the application, then I can export or uh, export to particular low, uh, folder then you, you need to kind of edit that uh, PDD config file in order to add the reports over there. I could able to open that uh, BDD config.xml. This is the place that where you can add your reports, whatever uh, configured right now. So I right now I selected two reports I would like to display in the dashboard of IDD application. So I selected subject area growth trend and uh, source system metric. So these two are I would like to add it. So if I try to explain that what exactly display name, this is going to be the name that is going to be display at the time of uh, report showing the displaying the generation. That means that in dashboard, you could able to see the display name and format, I would like to show as image and a logical uh, ORS name. This is the logical ORS name. That means that whatever the ORS you configured, that name should be the same, exactly same as that name. Otherwise, what will happen is it won't to display the uh, uh, dashboard. Why? Because it is not able to find this URL. And the name, uh, uh, the name of the uh, report and template. This is the template that whatever the Jasper report you copied. Suppose say uh, you created uh, a reports folder under Hub Server. So that means that here the name of the uh, template here and the report over there it should match. Otherwise, it is going to be, it, it won't show the report to us. And the report parameters you can keep here and users. So coming to value here, this is going to be dynamic value. At the rate of means that is a good, uh, that is a dynamic value. After importing that application, BDD configuration, then I redeployed application and cleared caches, I could able to launch it. So if you could able to see that, then it is trying to show the Jasper uh, charts to us. You see that subject area growth by trend, sub uh, source system metric, and XRF composition metric. You can see that how the data is displayed. That is all about how we can configure data mart, uh, which is available under resource uh, kit. If you have any questions, please refer the KB documents of, that we have of, from my, my support uh, informatica. Thank you. Thanks, guys. If you have any uh, feedback, please send us to support videos at informatica.com. Thanks for listening.